SteamOS, the operating system from Valve Software that powers the Steam Deck, is now available for download, installation and testing on the Origi Alloy and Origi Alloy X. And in this video I'll be guiding us step by step on how to get SteamOS installed on our Origi Alloy as quickly as possible. To get started installing SteamOS on our device, there are a few things we need first, such as a USB-C stick, or a USB memory stick and USB-C adapter, or a micro SD card, all minimum 16 gigabytes in size. Before we start the installation, it's important to understand that Windows will be completely wiped from our device and replaced with SteamOS. So before we get started installing SteamOS, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. From our Windows desktop, we want to access our web browser and we want to come over to the SteamOS website. Here we want to scroll down to General FAQ and we want to choose here to be taken to the main installation page. When we scroll down, we'll see Reimage and Install SteamOS. We want to choose the first link here to download the recovery image. We want to scroll down, press Accept and download SteamOS deck image. And afterwards we want to choose the second link for Rufus which is going to allow us to install SteamOS to our memory stick. We want to scroll down and choose download on Rufus. And from here we simply want to choose Rufus and then we want to choose select in the top right hand corner and we want to choose the Steam Deck repair image. Press start, press OK and OK again and allow the process to complete. Once the SteamOS install is finished, we can go ahead and press close and on the start menu we want to hold press and here we want to choose shut down. With our device powered off, we want to press the power on button until we see our RGBs and as soon as we see the second Asus logo, we want to hold down volume down. And when we load into the BIOS, we just want to press Y for advanced mode. R1 three times to security and we want to go down to secure boot go down to secure boot control and we want to change this to disabled afterwards press R1 and choose save changes and exit now after restarting we'll be back in Windows so we just need to hold down the start menu again and shut down and with the device powered off we want to press the power button and when we see the second Acer logo, we want to hold volume up. So hold it now. And we'll reach the device boot menu where we want to scroll down and we want to choose our USB stick and wait for the SteamOS installation to load. Once the installation loads, we simply need to choose the fourth choice here, wipe device and install SteamOS. And then we just want to go ahead and choose proceed and now everything will be erased from the drive and SteamOS will be installed. So just wait a few moments and this will be complete. Now when SteamOS has finished installing, let's go ahead and press proceed. After the device restarts, we want to choose our language and our time zone alongside setting our Wi-Fi so that the latest updates can be installed. And after the updates complete, the device will restart and will be prompted to log into our Steam account. Now it may be the case that when logging in, we will be stuck on loading user data. This is fine, we just need to press the left armory crate button, choose power and restart. Now once restarted, we will need to log into our Steam account a second time. And after a few brief moments, we'll be in gaming mode on SteamOS with the ROG Alloy. We can go down to settings, go to system, check our current SteamOS version and all our specifications and from here we can go ahead and start installing all of our games from our Steam library and if we access the right quick access menu button we can see our quick settings our performance tab where we can change our overlay level and performance settings and if we press the left quick access menu button go down to power we can have a quick look at desktop mode. In desktop mode, we can use our right analog stick for the mouse cursor, and we can press and hold R3 
for our left mouse click. We can access the internet with Firefox and download from the Discover Store and we can press X to bring up our Steam keyboard like so. Let's return to gaming mode. Now once we're back in gaming mode we're going to press the left armory crate button and go down to settings, go down to controller and we're going to perform a controller test. We can see that the face buttons are working correctly, the start and select buttons are working, our left armory crate is registered, our right one isn't registered and our d-pad L1, R1, L2 and R2 and our back buttons the left one doesn't work and neither does the right one. Now with the ROG Ally X I can press the left quick access menu, go down to settings, go to my controller and we can begin a test. We can see the face buttons are working, start and select L1 and R1, L2, R2 and our D-pad and our analogs and R3. Our back buttons unfortunately aren't working at this present moment. Now currently with the ROG Alloy and the ROG Alloy X it is the case that our controls aren't working 100%. We can see that the analogs for selecting and face buttons they just do nothing and sometimes this will happen so if this happens we need to press the menu button by touching, pressing power and then choosing restart. Alternatively, we can Bluetooth a PS4, PS5 or Xbox controller to the device and use the alloy that way until updates are released for SteamOS that restore functionality such as the controls not working at times. On the right quick access menu, we can go down to Decky Loader and I have a guide in the description for installing Simple Decky TDP so we can adjust our TDP like so and HueSync for adjusting our RGB colors. I hope this guide helped you with installing SteamOS on your ROG Alloy and if you have any questions or run into any issues please drop a comment below so we can all help each other out. Now if you enjoyed this guide and learned something new today please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share this video with others and until next time have a wonderful day, look out for one another and I'll see you later.